So this is the breakdown of Drake's diss against the whole world. So we about to see because I don't know what none of the meanings were in the song. We just gonna listen to Drake it. has finally dropped a response track to Kendrick, Future, Metro, and even Rick Ross. The track serves as a diss track with Drake responding to the various beefs that he is now in, responding to the countless diss tracks on the We Don't Trust You album from songs like Like That, Princess Diana, and All To Myself. However, on Drake's song, Push Ups, aka Drop and Give Me 50, Drake opens the song by rapping the lyrics, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hands. This is a complete response to future as four years ago drake would hop on the track titled life is good with future generating now 2 billion views on youtube this would end up remaining future's still biggest song of all time now in the intro track oh of that's the crazy no that's crazy that's that's throwing heat for real that's crazy that's crazy we don't trust you album future actually raps the lyrics you're a number one fan dog sneak diss and i don't understand dog hello talking acting like a fed dog i don't need another fake friend now drake knew that he had to respond to that bar as drake literally gave future his first number one hit ever so how would he be a number one fan of future then later in the song drake would then <laughs> respond to one of kendrick lamar's disses as kendrick would drop a line in the song titled like that where kendrick rapped the lyrics think Bro. i will drop the location why is he using these videos of drake and in the song titled like, like that bro, what, are you doing? The what are you doing what are you doing lyrics think i won't drop the location i still got it f the big three it's just big me i'm really like that and your best work is a light pack now Kendrick was sending a direct message to Drake and J. Cole. As the big three that Kendrick is referring to is himself, J. Cole, and Drake, the big three in hip hop who blossomed in the early 2010s. Now Drake would want to make sure to let Kendrick Lamar know that the current reality in the hip hop game does not have Kendrick Lamar anywhere near the top three. So Drake would rap the lyrics in the song Push Ups, You ain't in no big three. SZA got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, and Savage got you wiped down. Letting Kendrick Lamar know that bro he throwing he's shots, not a part of bro. any big three anymore many no nah, bro he throwing shots bro I don't I don't know who on top right now but he anyway. throwing shots artist in the game has wiped his name out of the charts and all of these other new artists are now outselling him by a lot however one sneak disc that went over everybody's head and no one even realized is the title of drake's response track is actually a sneak disc towards kendrick lamar a viral tweet would share when drake said drop and give me 50 he was not talking about push-ups 50 percent of kendrick's earnings go to anthony top dog he is with the tde label contract <laughs> and drake is literally telling kendrick to drop music Music just to give him 50%. Now, this is a much bigger deal than most people. Yo, yo, yo. That whole time I was thinking he was talking about push ups because of the video of uh, Kendrick doing push ups. He's literally like coming for like every, like, this is crazy. People even know. In the opinions of about <laughs> anybody in the music industry, why is he talking so hot? Well, I know why, but... Industry, you're not a top one rapper in the game if you still have to give 50% of your earnings to record companies. Drake is laughing and mocking Kendrick about the fact that a veteran in the music industry is still technically signed to a rookie contract. As in simple terms, only new artists are signed to 50-50 contracts, but Kendrick Lamar is still in one. However, Drake's next diss would actually end up taking over the entire internet. In the track push-ups, Drake would rap the lyrics i be with some bodyguards just like whitney now if you're unaware a tweet would state that whitney bar is crazy kendrick lamar's fiance cheated on him with his bodyguard while he was out doing push-ups in the park leaving many believe that that was just way <laughs> okay all right all right okay what the bro what bro what all right, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know all of that. I didn't know all of that. It's it's all connecting now. Like it's making sense. This like okay.
I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying Way this. too far for a diss track, but you tell me what you think in the comments. Now, when you research even deeper into the beef like I did, you're gonna learn something very strange. Last week, J. Cole released a tape titled Might Delete Later. On the tape is a track titled Seven Minute Drill. This is a diss track response to Kendrick Lamar, Future, and Metro Boomin. But right before the midnight release of Future and Metro's second album titled We Still Don't Trust You, J. Cole ended up removing the diss track from his tape. A report goes and reads, J. Cole has officially removed his Kendrick Lamar diss track, 7 Minute Drill, from streaming services, leaving many fans confused as to why he deleted it, but the answer was very clear when the clock hit midnight, as the We Still Don't Trust You album was released by Future and Metro, the second album to be exact. There was a J. Cole feature onto this album, making many believe now J. Cole may have switched sides on Drake. First on Thursday night, fans were shocked to hear a J. Cole feature feature on the song Red Leather off Future and Metro Boomin's newest Wait, album. What? This, leaving many fans confused as to why he deleted it, but the answer was very clear when the clock hit midnight, as the We Still Don't Trust You album was released by Future and Metro, the second album to be exact. There was a J. Cole feature onto this album, making many believe now J. Cole may have switched sides on Drake. First on nah. Thursday night, fans were shocked to hear a J. Cole feature on the song Red nah. Leather off Future and Metro nah. Boomin's newest album, We Still nope. Don't Trust You. Based nah. on some of the lyrics, it initially seemed like J. Cole had recorded this verse after he apologized to Kendrick Lamar, but many fans pointed to this video of J. Cole saying he was in the studio with Metro Boomin months ago, and then today, Rob Markman said he confirmed with the source that the verse was recorded before Like That Ever Drop. But regardless of when he recorded the verse, he still had to clear it and approve it being on the album. So after being on tour with Drake just weeks ago, and then last weekend saying he didn't want to be involved in any beef, he went and did a feature on a verse with people he knew would be dissing Drake. And then we get to this afternoon where he finally <laughs> removed 7 Minute Draw off streaming, only after after the first week sales became official. Also featured on the newest album is ASAP Rocky. A tweet goes and states, ASAP oh, Rocky yeah. appears to diss Drake on Metro Boomin and Future's new album, where he raps the lyrics, Locko hit it first, son, still don't trust you, always us, never them. He also says, heard you dropped your latest stuff, funny how it came and went. Everyone is going at Drake right now, leaving many fans confused Wait. as to why ASAP- Why? Why though? Like why? ASAP Rocky would even go and diss Drake, seeing as ASAP hasn't even dropped anything since 2018. But this is then when Drake would start reacting to all the other side rappers that are dissing him. It begins with a tweet that states, Rick Ross and Nav have unfollowed Drake on Instagram after Metro and Future diss Drake, leaving Drake's first reaction of many being, I ain't picking up, I'm in Turk's little baby, which is a clear sneak diss towards Nav's unfollow on Instagram, as those are actually Nav's lyrics. Drake would then also respond to other lyrics on the song like that from Kendrick Lamar with an Instagram post of somebody mining for diamonds trying to get a reaction from Drake. This response is to the lyrics that are left over in the like. Bro, why they trying to take Drizzy down like this? It gotta be more to it, bro. I really, I really don't know the whole thing, but it's just like... Damn, that like, song where he raps the lyrics for all your dogs getting put to rest that's a k with all these nines he goes see a pet cemetery as drake saw these lyrics as more of a reach from kendrick lamar as there is rumor circulating that kendrick may have wanted a feature onto drake's for all the dogs album which is why he keeps mentioning the album's name kendrick is referring to the for all the dogs album with those lyrics as he is mentioning k with all of those nines referring to a k9 and then ending the line with a pet resting area however the scary part was was that after the song's release, someone captured a photo of Drake on the night it was out. In the photo, you can see clearly Drake has headphones in, listening to music with a very sour look on his face, making many believe that he's listening to the diss track from Kendrick Lamar. However, things would get even worse from here. Bruh. As later in the song like that, Kendrick raps the lyrics, F sneak dissing, first person, I hope they come in with three switches. Referencing once again the big three, but he's also now discussing Drake and J. Cole's hit track titled First Person F. One of the biggest sh being the line sneak. Bro, they they got it with the lyrics, like the the metaphors. They those be going over my head. I this in first person. Sh I hope they came with three switches. So what exactly did Drake and Cole say about Kendrick that was a sneak diss on first person? Sh 
Or Jake Cole has a bar where he says, everybody steppers, well, F it, then everybody breakfast, and I'm about to clear up my plate. Steppers here is obviously a reference to Kendrick's most recent album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, and clearing my plate likely means winning the competition for best rapper over Kendrick. And Drake in his first verse asks the question who the GOAT rapper is, and he uses a clever double entendre to say that only him and Jake Cole are in the GOAT conversation, meaning Kendrick is not. J. Cole also probably has the most notable line in first person where he says, love when they argue the hardest MC, is it K-Dot, is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. But it wasn't until this one viral tweet would go around on Twitter, which would turn everything into crazy mode. It would stay, y'all didn't catch the disses at Drake because y'all were too worried about Kendrick. Here's another diss at Drake from Metro and Future, which seems to reference 21, saying that Future is bigger than Drake and that nobody is listening him into the street. Also, before the diss on the outro, Future really? switches up his flow with no auto-tune, basically saying that I can get up here and do what you do, but I can really rap. Now, I can't play the outro of the song due to copyright, but it's an Bro. audio track from a movie where it is one character telling someone else that no one is listening to a certain type of music in the hood, even though that artist is huge, which is exactly what Drake's best friend, 21 Savage, said about Drake in an interview. It's not me listening to Drake like that. Well, well, well. If I wasn't a rapper, I don't feel like I still would listen to Drake for real. It's just I'm a rapper, so I understand the work he put in now, how hard he go. Wait, like when you ain't no rapper, all them statistics don't mean sh A regular street don't give a f about how many times you went number one, like how many white people listen to you. They don't even think that them, them, the farthest they think <laughs> is the club. Who's selling this club? Out? That's who they think is the biggest. <laughs> like in Atlanta, it's, it's a lot of who you really can't tell them future ain't bigger than Drake. That's, I would say it's capital. Really? Oh God. I used to think that. Drake ain't really no big. All right, bro. Um, That's pretty much everything, I guess. Honestly, I'm just enjoying the, I'm just here for the music, man. I don't know what's going on still. Um, yeah, I'm out of it.